What if I told you that you're stocking your 10 gallons wrong this whole time and everybody pretty much have been stocking their 10 gallons wrong? Let's get into it. So pretty controversial start to the video, I'll give you that. It's a pretty significant thing to say that everyone's been stocking their 10 gallons wrong. And when I say everyone, I mean most people. There are definitely people who have been stocking it right, and probably a lot of people like me who started off stocking their 10 gallons wrong and then started stocking them right. And maybe by pure accident as well. Now what do I mean by stocking them wrong? Well let's first start off with what's right for a 10 gallon. I believe a betta fish is one of the best fish you can put in a 10 gallon period of all time. You can also put a bird in a 10 gallon. I'm just kidding. Don't worry, Millie, you're not going in a 10 gallon fish tank. Live bearers are my second go to choice for a 10 gallon fish tank. Endler's live bearers, to be exact. They stay just small enough so you don't have to worry about anything. One thing though, if you're stocking live bearers, make sure you only get the males because they look great and they will not overstock, overcrowd your 10 gallon fish tank in about a month. And before we get into the third fish that's great for a 10 gallon, we have to now address the elephant in the room. Why have we been stocking our 10 gallons wrong and what is the fish that shouldn't have been in? there because it's pretty interconnected. You'll see in a second. Tetris, Rasboras. Don't get me started on glowfish. Let's not even talk about that. So you're like, Chris, I'm not putting cardinal tetras. I'm not putting Congo tetras in a 10 gallon. I'm not putting rainbow fish in a 10 gallon. You really should not put rainbow fish in a 10 gallon. I'm putting Neon Tetras, they don't get as big as Cardinals. I'm putting Rummy Nose Tetras, they don't get as big as Bleeding Hearts. I'm putting Glow Light Tetras, Black Skirt Tetras, Serpes, Blue Phantoms. I'm putting Harlequin Rasboras, Blind Cave Tetras. What's the deal with that? What's wrong with that? You can't tell me nothing. No, I can tell you something. <laughs> I thought I was right putting Neon Tetras and Harlequin Rasboras in a 10 gallon. That was my opinion before I learned better. So I'm here to try to help everyone else learn better. I know this is going to be controversial for saying that, that even smaller tetras like neons, harlequins, rummy nose, glow lights, black skirts should not be put in a 10 gallon, but that's what the comment section is for, I guess. See you guys down there debating this. It's 2023, bro. Normalize true nano fish. I've been saying this before. It's definitely showed up in my fish tank review rants, but I gotta keep making these videos because a lot of people still don't get it. They still think that the beginner fish are neon tetras and harlequin rasboras, rummy nose, if they're not going with a betta fish or if they're not going with live bearers. That's wrong. These tetras and rasboras are not the beginner go to fish for your 10 gallon community tank. No, no, no. They need a solid school of 8 to 12. The more, the better. Not the 10 gallon. It's too small for them. They are streamlined. They're made to swim. That being said, 10 gallons is still the minimum you can get away with it. I'm not saying like you just became a criminal, like there's way worse choices than a neon tetra, a school of neons in a 10 gallon, trust me. But I'm saying for those of us who want to really maximize our husbandry and truly make sure our fish, our plants, our pets are having a great time living with us because they don't get to choose their owners once again, this video is for them. True nano fish, my top recommendation for a 10 gallon, if you're trying to go for some sort of tetra, rasbora, some kind of shoaling fish, chili rasbora all the way. This is my main nano fish for a 10 gallons, even a 5 gallons. It works so damn perfectly in a 10 gallon. You can get a school of 12 to 20 in a 10 gallon. They'll look spectacular, I promise you that. They look so amazing in it. And it's so spacious for them in a 10 gallon, you wouldn't believe. It's like a whole world for them. Alice in Wonderland type of shit. Get that spectacular planted aquascape, really bright reds of the fish standing out in a sea of green plants. Nothing like it. It's spectacular, it's breathtaking. <laughs> but you want to know what the best part is? Yeah, we haven't even gotten to the best part of why a chili rasbora belongs in a 10 gallon, made for a 10 gallon. It's because they are actually true beginner fish and their prices are going down. It's easier and easier, more accessible for anyone to buy them. There's absolutely no reason for a beginner to go for a neon tetra anymore for their 10 gallon. It's all about the chili rasboras now. They're truly hardy, unlike the neon tetras that always seem to have a few mortality every time you get a new school. These guys stay alive. I am not exaggerating. So without sounding like a broken record, chili rasboras, go for it. There are other ones like the galaxy rasboras or the celestial pearl daniels, whichever name you want to use, and even more nano fish like the blue axorodi. But those ones are a bit more niche in their husbandry, especially the axorodi. But you can work your way to that. And beginners don't stay beginners for the rest of their lives. So there are definitely a lot more options out there these days. Pygmy quarries and even rocket killies are kind of like pseudo nano fish. So guys, this is just a sort of quick PSA for those of you wondering what to stock your tanks with for a 10 gallon in 2023. There are so many different options now and I believe the best one by far, especially if you're looking for a tetra type species, is the chili rasboras. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget, 
to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot from Carisiformis to Peretrorodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without furt, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.